All right, so welcome back to the tutorial Laravel Crowd for Beginners. Uh, in today's tutorial, uh, we're going to continue from where we left off. In our last tutorial, we tested our database connection by running this command php artisan migrate, and we saw that we can create actual database tables uh, in our database. All right, so let me take you to our application right here. So I'm inside my Crowd app, and I want you guys to go to your database and go to your migrations, and you see this list of migration files these are the migration files that we ran with that command php artisan migrate we were trying to migrate these files into actual databases and so if we open this file we saw that this is more of a schema for creating a database table and so it gives us the different columns that we have in our database so for instance we have an id the name the email email verified so if i am to go to my database right here if i look at uh, the users table you see these are the equivalent columns that we have in that migration file so we have id name email email verified it password etc all right so today we want to be able to create our own tables because the ones that we created last time came pre-installed with Laravel, right? If you look at this, these three files right here uh, came with our Laravel installation. We want to be able to create our own and then run the migration and then create the actual table in the database. So how do we create these migration files? So the only solution is to look at the documentation to so search for migrations. So migrations right here. So you see database migrations, click on that. I want to go to this part right here, which says generating migrations. Migration is more like a schema uh, that you use to create a table in a database. And, and you might want to know what is a schema. A database schema is just a blueprint or structure of how data is organized and accessed in a database. It defines how data is stored in tables and how the relations among them are associated. It involves the description of the database tables, the data type of the each column, and the constraints on the database. And so you can see right here, these are SQL commands that we use. For us to create a table, we have to say create table and then the name of the table and then we specify the columns. Uh, for instance, here we have person ID and last name, first name, address and city. And then we have to specify the data type as well as the constraints. Using. And so migration files are more like schemas as well. And that's where we're going to specify the columns that we need, the type of data for the columns. All right, so for us to do that, uh, let's get back to our documentation here. So for us to create a migration file, we have to run this command php artisan make migration the name of the table that we intend to create so i'm going to copy this command right here so i'll copy this and then uh, go back to my terminal and you can see the path to my crud app right here i'm inside this folder crud app and so i'm going to paste this all right so let's walk through this command right here all right so this is the file that we're going to generate right here create flies table so you can see here it says create users table create cache table create jobs table but we don't want to create a flies table we want to create um so we can write here create underscore and then products we want to create a products table so underscore table right here all right so once we have this if we run this we're supposed to see a migration inside here in the in the migration folder so if i hit create then you will see right here it says migration created successfully you have to go to your database migrations and then inside here so let's open this file here that we just created and so we can open that by the way this file has been created by running this particular command right here uh, php artisan make colon migration and then the name of the migration file that we wanted to create and so if we look at this file right here we have a few functions right we have an up function and we also have a down function a down function is used to drop uh, the table in the database and then the up function is used to create the table in the database and so we can look over here these are the columns that we will have in our in our table uh, in the database so id is auto generated for us as well as timestamps is auto generated for us and we also need to add our own columns these are details about the product right. and so uh, for us to do that we have to use this variable right here blueprint variable called table and so we can say here dollar table and then want this to be a string before i start entering the different columns that we're going to use let's go back again to our documentation so let's go to columns right here click on columns and i want you to look at uh, string and text so you can see here the string method creates a varchar uh, equivalent a column of the given length and so i'm going to copy this thing right here so i'll just copy this and paste it uh here right here so 
control V and you can see right here we have so uh, the products table is going to have a name column name for products right and the length of that is going to be 255 right here so this is the length it's, it's equivalent to voucher by the way we are not going to be creating our tables using PHP my admin right um, if I am to go to my PHP my admin right here in Laravel we do not create our tables uh, right here in the PHP my admin uh, by the way if you wanted to create you could just hit on you and you can create a table here you can name the table right here you can see table name in our case we would name this product and here we can then say name uh, that first column and then we can specify the type of uh, data here uh, whether it's going to be an integer a variable character text or the difference between voucher and text voucher has a limited number of characters it, it can go up to 255 but text can go up to i think 30,000 or more uh, um, something like that that's the difference so we're not going to be doing this here we're going to be using a lot of our application to create uh, tables here so I'll do away with this thing right here our migration file is the one that we're going to be using to create tables in the in our database so we have our name right here and the next okay. column that we need the description so that will be a text you know we, we need more uh, characters uh, text by the way will uh, accommodate up to 30,000 characters but this one has a limitation up to 255. The next thing we need is price. Uh, price is always a decimal, right? So in the available column types. So decimal is right here. Click on decimal. You can see up here decimal. You can literally copy this dollar table and then decimal. And then we call this the price and then total eight and then this places. Okay. Let me call it places. Okay, places two um, exactly from the documentation. That's what we. I'm getting this from the documentation, and then the quantity of the product, obviously. So this is going to be an integer, right? A whole number, uh, quantity table. Uh, is going to be uh, an integer, and the integer is going to be uh, quantity right here so this is going to be the quantity of the product all right so uh with this i'm sure we have enough columns right there we're going to have an, an id for our product we're going to have the name of our product the description of our product the price of our product the quantity of our product and then the created ad and updated ad. this is also going to be auto generated for us right here so once we're done with this we have our schema right here which is our migration and then we can run the php artisan migrate to create the actual table in the database so we can save this and then uh, down here we can then run php artisan migrate to create the actual table in the database uh, the table that we're going to create is going to be called products right here you can see the name right here and if i hit enter we're supposed to have the products table in our database for now uh, if i go and confirm if i refresh uh, we do not have any products table right here yeah, you can see it for yourself but if i run this command i'm expecting a products table in our database so hit enter you can see right here it says create a uh, products table and it's done and if i'm to go to my database right here so if i refresh uh products table where you right here click on that and then you can see all the columns that we have created in that schema which is our migrations file so id name description price quantity created that and updated that and oh, and that's what we have right here in this file right here all right so basically this is how you can create tables in um, in laravel uh, we can see we are here on the database we are still here on the database but today we we're creating our own uh, tables in that database by the way um you could also uh, roll back you could remove or delete this products table in the database you can undo uh, this by running a rollback so let me take you to the documentation um, it's important for you to read the documentation okay rolling back the migration right here let me click on rolling back so you can do this uh, php artisan migrate and then colon rollback this, this will remove the table from the database so let me copy this uh, so that we can see this at work so let me try and clear right here and paste that if i hit enter right now you can see it's a rolling back migrations and it's going to roll back the recent uh, migration that you made 
so the recent migration that we made is the products table migration right and so if we were to go back to our database now if i refresh we are not supposed to see that products table the, the products table is gone you can see right here we no longer have the products table but we need that products table so i'm going to run that php artisan migrate hit that and it's going to put it back obviously so let me see if i refresh now our products table is back here we go we can have we can see the products table right here the only way we can interact with our database is via a model and so in our next tutorial we're going to look at how we're going to create our model in uh, laravel all right so basically that's it um if you do have any questions leave them in the comment section and remember to hit that subscribe button uh leave a like so hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers